everybody, welcome, 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 welcome to the new segment that I call the pain slot or the pain box or the pain thing. Today, for some reason, hey, welcome to the pain slot. Today we've got some pain here, which is some weirdness of, this was my foot, you could place between the knuckles, the, this knuckle and this knuckle, it feels a little weird. It's almost like if you've ever wanted to, had the feeling that you needed to crack your knuckles, that's kind of what it feels like right now. I am not sure what's causing that. I mean, I've been, my keeps turning off for some reason. But back to the pain slot, I walked, I don't know, maybe two hours yesterday in these shoes. And yeah, that, that feeling is just a little weird. We are coming up to the old parking lot here. Nobody's here this morning. Maybe it's too early. Uh, not seen any deer yet, but give me five minutes. Cooper is with me today. And we still have to work on packing that, um, the backpack. I put the cook system in last night, uh, the stove, the uh, little dry match, and the gas. Um, I moved some things around, and we've got to put the sleeping bag in it, full complement food, and get the water up, and then it will be a full pack ready to go. The ground is actually, it might be dry enough to set up the tent this evening. Today's Thursday, maybe later at night, we'll see. <clears throat> we might do it, we might not, I haven't decided yet, whether today or tomorrow. Um, we're hiking into the Mills Reservation, just doing some general thoughts on what needs to be done as far as the hiking trip. I'm trying to do an overnight on the last day of the month, which is my birthday. Woohoo! And that's going to be like a shakedown hike, which I <clears throat> traditionally do not do before the cat skills. I sort of pretend like I'm training, but really I'm not. Um, although last year felt a little, a little bit better, I think, because I was doing just a little training. So I should have my pack on right now, but I don't. I've just got the water in. I'm probably carrying five pounds, maybe, if that. Um, <clears throat> last night... This was all fireflies. Um, if I come back tonight, we'll get a shot of it. It was really pretty. Those are cicadas. So they're out. So yeah, here we are. I heard one yesterday morning, and I heard one last night. So... I feel like I'm hearing like 10 of them now right so we're gonna start looking out for the uh, the husks on the trees and also sometimes you can see well if it's a big brood you can see the holes in the ground <clears throat> which I've not seen yet but I'll keep a lookout and that begs the question which trail are we doing today I think we're gonna do probably purple I think Purple to, I don't know, purple is a good one, I like purple a lot. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, purple is a good one. But as far as the rest of the stuff goes, as far as packing for the trip, it's just a couple things. And then I gotta make sure I have the right clothes. <laughs> Something I always forget is that it gets cold up there uh, when you're on top of those well, I think we could call them mountains, but, you know, they're like 3,000 3, feet high. And it is, it feels like the fall up there. So, I mean, that's going to be a test of the sleeping bag, which is only rated to 45 degrees. I don't think it's gotten much colder than that. <clears throat> but I would hate to be stuck out there and not have the, the right kind of sleeping bag. Um, and then also um, a hat and a muffler and gloves. <laughs> Just stuff that I just normally wouldn't bring on a summer hike. Um, so I might pack out with all of those on July, last of July. So where are you going to do this? So I think we're going to do yellow to purple today. There's a good friend, yellow, right there. Doo -doo. Hey, yellow, how you doing? And we'll take that one to purple. And here we go. 
me and the cicadas out here today. Uh, <coughs> uh, the bear that was sighted in the town over, there's been no follow-up on that, so that was more than a month ago. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to unshake this video. What else? Just reminiscing. Um, yeah, the bags. Just getting that bag ready to go. Birthday party at somebody's house this weekend. Another somebody turning 50. That would be the second or third of my group of cohorts. Parents of friends. Kids' friends who are now my friends turning 50. And, uh, yeah. I think, I think, yeah, so... We are definitely going to work on... Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, Outside Magazine's been republishing this um, article about how if the, you know, is the is being a through hiker bad for you? And their short answer is yes. Mostly because of the junk food that the hikers eat out there. They're eating a lot of things that are heavy in... Hey, look, guy! A lot of things... <laughs> a lot of things that are heavy in salt, sugar, and fats. So... <clears throat> three of my favorite things <laughs> so we are we're gonna have to watch on that i think vegan vegetarian is probably the way to go load up on salads and fruits when you're in the cities if you can um watching craig mann doing he's hawk doing his sixth at hike he is staying at a hotel it seems like every night if not you know four out of the five nights he's out on the trail so I am sure that makes for a different experience, but he's spending a lot of money too. I'm estimating, I think he spent about, um, almost two grand on hotels for, uh, it's like 133 days, which I guess isn't too bad, right? Two grand for, what is 133 days? Three times three, 90. So that's like four months, so two grand for four months is not too bad, I guess. Um, so that's something to think about before the long hike starts. Um, watch an Ivy Tat. He is out. I think he's probably getting close to finishing Colorado, but his videos are right at the start of Colorado. He had some problems with the glissade, which is something I have to research. The winter hiking and the desert hiking I am a novice at. The closest to desert hiking that I've done is um, Colorado. And that was on, we did the flat irons. This would be a good spot for a picture right here. Flat irons we did. We also did South Tabletop, which was outside of Golden. Um, just arid. Felt super snaky. Oh, we didn't see any, but it just, yeah, it just felt like they were definitely hanging out there. I'm um, happy to have water. The sun wasn't too bad, honestly. Um, which, I think, once the desert thing happens, that is going to be a concern. Um, I got a sun umbrella from Six Moon Design that I can't decide if I'm going to take the Catskills or not. It just fits kind of awkwardly in the pack, so we're going to see what we can do. Now we're playing a game. Of where is the trail? I think it's here. It seems like it should be here, but it's not. Is it marked? I'm seeing ghosts. Ghosts of the trail. It seems like a trail, right? But I don't see any, like, like real marks. So this seems like a, like a bike thing. Definitely like a bike mound that was built up. I guess we're gonna wander on this until we stumble on something else. Honestly, I think the purple trail is right there. I think. I think maybe that's yellow. Well, we're gonna look for blazes for a while. Mosquitoes are out, I'm starting to come out. Nope, that's yellow. This is, might be purple. So, yeah, Ivy Tat is in Colorado. Got hurt on one of the glissades. I guess you're not supposed to go down the mountain like an ice chute slide because there's no way to stop. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. But I think getting an ice axe, or what are they, whatever they're called. I'll just show a picture of it right here. Ice axe thing. Yeah, that thing. Once I officially buy one of those, that'll be a very cool moment in hiking, I've been hiking history. 
Um, I don't know where you would train for that around here. Yeah, I think probably New Hampshire. Well, you could probably go up to New Jersey during the snow snowpack there. There's little mountains there people ski on. Um, man, it is getting buggy, dudes. I still have off on my hat, but the bugs are like, hey, human, we want to drink the water out of your eyes. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Um, big hikes coming up. Nothing really. Just trying to hike around more with weight on my back. Um, I have to, again, I'm going to harp on this. Are we on the purple trail? I don't know, dude. It doesn't feel like it, but it feels more like the S trail. Um, is to relearn how to do the bear bag stuff, which is kind of a pain, but that canister just weighs too much. Um, oh, um, Darwin on the trail is supposed to be southbound hiking the CDT. I wonder if he'll run into Ivy Tat. That would be an interesting meeting of the beards. Um, I'm going through his gear list. He's talked about the food bag, but he is not. I guess he's going to take a bear canister because he's going through Glacier National Park. I think it's in Montana, if I have that correct. And then, um, yeah, I, I, from my understanding of that state park, you need a bear canister. They won't let you hike in there without it. So I maybe he'll rent one on the trail. So... <clears throat> That is what's going on. Looking at ultralight packs. If I was doing a through hike tomorrow, I'd get one, but it doesn't make sense because I'm really only doing a longer hike once or twice a year. So it doesn't make sense to invest in that right now. Man, this is, I don't know where we're going, dude. We are off trail, not off trail. This is a bike trail for sure. Not marked. I've done that, I've hiked this before. I just got an interesting little downhill right here. All right. Man, we're gonna ramble for a while now, aren't we? Um, just getting my thoughts in order. So yeah, that, I wanna get that pack packed for tonight and then probably set up the tent just to go over it, see how it's holding up in the backyard. Um, a lot of deer poop back there, so you gotta be careful of that. Um, whew, look at these guys, a lot of cool ferns, <coughs> other thoughts, um, the food, I think I have enough, like, meal food to go, but I don't have enough snack food to go, so that's my next thing, and then, oh, we're at the back side of this, um, Massive hangout place where the teenagers will come and smoke their dope <laughs> Right here. There used to be a trash can there actually and I've also seen like traffic cones there It used to have more of a ceiling like a roof, but it looks like they've disassembled that um, I even feel like I've seen a blue tarp over at one point uh, but It's the cool place that supposedly no adults know about I'm sure the police know about it Whatever. Um then, yeah, so this will definitely get us back on purple for sure. For sure, Ivan? For sure? Yeah, we're up too far close to this thing. we got to go down the side trail here. So we're going to move on down to the side trail. Um, other gear, I refound the $20 headlamp I got from Home Depot that runs on batteries, which is fine. It's <laughs> bug, dude. More than what I need. Not more than what I need. It's really, it's probably the brightest light that I own, um, headlamp wise, and it's pretty good. So we'll repack that after we pass under this Widowmaker, of course. Sheesh. And beautiful day, just starting to warm up. I don't want to be in the sun, so I'm glad to be hiking out in the... Cicadas are out. I wonder if that's going to grow exponentially. As the day goes on, speaking of that, the Delta variant is like up 109% in the city today, so that ain't good. Uh, other countries are talking about relocking down stuff, doing the mass stuff. I can't see the U.S. doing that again. I think that they're just going to suck it up and say, um, get the vaccine or not, we don't care. It's your hands now. We're, everything's going to stay open. 
Um, unless a lot of people start dying, then it'll change, of course. Um, <clears throat> what else is going on? Let's see. <clears throat> the uh, bug spray I have to remember to pack. I have to go through the 10 essential things again. <sighs> Compass, I always burn. The woods looks the same, but I still enjoy it. A lot of people get bored with it, but I'm just like, I'm excited by it. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. Um, there's a lot of things that are changing. I'm not so into the, like, I haven't gone down, like, like, oh, this is a Adler root or whatever the plant's kind of names. I mean, not yet, anyway. I think I'd rather do that, like, on somebody doing a tour and pointing out the plants out, because when you're looking at them in a book versus looking at them in the field, they're, like, they seem very different. Um, but I'm sure there's a lot to be learned. I think mostly what I would have interested in learning is edible plants and things like that. Um, and what to stay away from. We've got a woodpecker over here. I don't know if you can see that dude. He's right behind that tree. Oh, there he goes. And we'll probably hear it from him in a little bit. They're out today. This is probably the buggiest. Um, that that <laughs> the buggiest day that I've had in the woods so far. Uh, it's been raining a lot, and uh, I'm sure that's helped to everything. I don't see a lot of mushrooms, though. Usually I do, um, after a big rain. <clears throat> so yeah, the pack, the clothes, uh, the underwear, the socks. Um, I just gotta get it all squared away. I feel like the sock liners, the little silk socks, the silk socks that I wear or get lost in the shuffle of the laundry. So I gotta find those and just hide them away. Swatting bugs off everywhere. Um, yeah, if it got more buggier, I'd probably put a shirt on and turn these guys into pants. Um, yeah, it is buggy out here. I think it's only gonna get buggier on this trail. <sighs> so, I'm trying to think what I wanna do as far as heading back. I don't know. Giant spider web between some trees back there. So nobody's been on the, this trail yet today. So I'm going to take the stick out and start clearing it in front of me because, I mean, spider webs I don't mind. It's just like, I think there's a spider probably crawling on me somewhere. Fun times. Hey guys, this is what we do. Clear the trail out. Tons of bugs. Ugh.